Give me that Alec rifle. You got three of that right here. I gave it to you yesterday. I, I caught it. Good morning. Welcome to the work session for Crawford County Commissioners for April 20th, 2022. Let's start with adult probation. Good morning. Good morning, morning, Trevor. Trevor. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. Oh, today I'm here. It's, by next Wednesday, I'm going to be seeking to ratify. Today I'm seeking signatures. This is for the 2022-2023 Drug and Alcohol RIP and Intermediate Punishment Grant for $270,000. Um, this grant is something we've applied for every year. Um, actually, last week we just sent some money back for last year's grant. This year we're applying for the same amount that we did last year in hopes that the money at the drug and alcohol level can be spent on treatment as long as uh, if MA goes back, medical assistance goes back to what it was before, where, then the federal dollars can be used for, for treatment. Um, so for the signatures today, um, I'll need Gina's signature, Keith's signature, Chris, Chris's signature, and then the three commissioners. Um, I can leave that here or I can walk around and get them today and then we can talk about that. Leave with Gina if you want, we'll get them done. <clears throat> you take care of that. Okay. All right. Any questions for Trevor? Nope. Thank you, Trevor. All right. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks. Public safety. <clears throat> morning, Greg. Morning, Greg. This morning, we're just requesting that you approve our uh, hazardous materials emergency preparedness grant application. Uh, it'll be in the amount of $12,475. It's an 80-20 uh, thing. Uh, our 20% match will be covered out of our Tier 2 funds. Uh, emergency management plans to do a commodity flow study for the first time in five or six years and put on uh, nine hazardous materials operations classes over a 36-month period. There will be no additional expenses to you folks. Any questions for Greg? Mm. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Thanks, Greg. I'm going to handle the corner uh, for him today. I spoke to him yesterday. He told us on a problem. This is just a uh, approval of payment of uh, a bill to Clayton's Auto Specialties for the body mechanical work on their 2012 uh, Chevy van. This van was purchased new uh, from the uh, Board of Commissioners at that time. It's a quick leaf oil drive conversion. I uh, just had some rough body work done, but still low miles, so we chose to uh, invest in it, and Scott's very happy. He figures he can get another five to eight years out of the van life, so very happy to present that. Planning? We'll wait till he comes back. IT? Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, uh, IT is here to re request to ratify a purchase of two Dell laptops and accessories for the HR department from Dell for $2,858.04. Also request to ratify the purchase of a Dell laptop and accessories for the commissioner's office from Dell for $1,448.86. And finally requesting to ratify the purchase of the new five-year internet service agreement from Armstrong for $925 a month. Thank you. Any questions for Tim? Okay. The care mm -hmm. center. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, morning Tanya. Tanya. Um, I would like to uh, pause on item A uh, for the time being. So what we spoke of yesterday in regards to the discrepancy in the mm -hmm. contract. Yep. To double check. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm requesting to approve the creation of five additional per diem activity aid positions. And these positions would be in place of people who are currently you're putting on the floor, right? That's Correct. Our activity aids are cross-trained as cross CNAs, okay. so we pull them to the floor when okay. we're short, so now we need to fill okay. when we pull them. Thank you. Uh, and requesting to approve the contract with Alliance Purchasing Network, and that's to sponsor the care center um, for senior services group purchasing. Okay. Any questions for Tanya? Thank you. All right, thanks. thanks. Have a Maintenance. Good morning. Zach is here. Okay, thank you. Morning. Morning, Mark. Morning, Mark. Morning. <coughs> Requesting to ratify approval to pay high T fence systems to rent perimeter fence behind the courthouse for the laydown area for two thousand five hundred and sixty seven dollars. My wife paid a lot more for high T fencing when no, <laughs> fences was I'm talking about. So. That's okay. a different fence. Yes. Requesting to ratify approval to pay Johnson Controls uh, to repair the heating system at the Renewed Life Haven for $1,605.60. This will be paid for by Human Services money. 
Requested to ratify invoices from the courthouse remodeling project, uh, the new assessment office, in the amount of five thousand one hundred and seventy-three dollars and fifty-five cents. Requesting to ratify invoices from courthouse remodeling project, the register and quarters remodel, in the amount of four hundred and seventy dollars and eighty cents. Requesting to approve an invoice for the Meadville Tribune advertisement of bid invitation for the vertical plane lift in the basement of the courthouse for four hundred and six dollars. Requesting to approve a quote from uh, Guzik Masonry. This is to repair the limestone uh, steps at the north entrance of the courthouse, um, repoint those and, and reset them for $2,500. Requesting to approve a proposal from Accessibility Advantage LLC. This is to install the vertical plane lift here at the uh, leading into the assembly room at the courthouse for $16,345. We decide the original lift is 20 plus years oh, old. Oh, yeah, okay. 21 or 22. 22 I think. And then uh, courtroom three, there's seven uh, courtroom pews. Uh, five of them are eight feet long and two of them are six feet long. Those are going to be sold uh, on the publicsurplus.com uh, if anybody's interested in those. Those will be listed online. So do you want to get moving on that? I mean, instead of approving it next week, can we ratify that now so you can... Does it have to go to meeting or only work session? Okay. 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 Yeah, but still need the meeting next week? Or just just say ratify in the minutes? Thank you. Any Thank questions you. for Mark? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Human Mark. services? Morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Um, I'm requesting approval for Annie's Flooring and Commercial Services Service Agreement for fiscal year 22-23. Our current janitorial provider is Bonded Services, which costs $2,080 a month. Um, we are looking to go with Annie's at $2,092 a month. The cost of the county is $313.31. The cost of the county is based upon the current cost allocation information as fiscal year 22-23 is not yet available. Requesting approval for the Ivanko International CWIS agreement for fiscal year 22-23. The CWIS releases listed on pages 2 and 3 of the agreement have been agreed upon by all 56 CAPS counties, including Crawford. The total cost of the project is $350,000, and it's proportionally allocated across all the counties based upon the number of users in each county. Um, our rate would be $10,642.47 cost of the county $2,326.23. This is the same rate as the current year. Requesting approval for the Ivanko International ICAMS Provider Agreement for fiscal year 22-23. The ICAMS Provider Agreement lists a quarterly maintenance fee, which is equally split between CYS and mental health. The rate is $770.46 a quarter higher than the current year. The rate is $11,777.08 a quarter cost of the county $1,601.50 for the quarter. Um, requesting to ratify the payment to the Center for Family Services for the delivery of ERAP 2 services for the period ending 329-22. Total cost $48,458.24 with no cost to the county, all paid with ERAP funds. Requesting to ratify payment to the Center for Family Services for the delivery of ERAP 2 services, high needs, ending on 331.22. Total cost is $12,970.55. No cost to the county, all paid with ERAP funds. Requesting to ratify the payment to the Center for Family Services for the delivery of ERAP 2, ending on 331.22. Total cost $35,287.79. No cost to the county, all paid with ERAP funds. Requesting to ratify the payment to the Center for Family Services for the delivery of ERAP 2 services ending on 4-5. Total cost $314,045.47 with no cost to the county, all paid with ERAP funds. Requesting to ratify payment to the Center for Family Services for the delivery of ERAP 2 services ending on 411. Total cost $49,831.40. No cost to the county, all paid with ERAP funds. Um, requesting payment to Keymark for maintenance support renewal agreement for 7122 to 63023 for our on base document imaging system. 
The total cost is $1,232 with a cost to the county of $184.08. This is a budgeted item. The next one is actually requesting to ratify the approval for the contract with Daniel Dubofsky for fetal alcohol spectrum disorder consulting services from 10 one to 9 30 22. This contract maximum will be $8,555. He will continue to assist in developing and implementing a fetal alcohol syndrome pilot project that includes two provider agencies that are willing to have staff trained in screening, assessing, and providing services to youth with fetal alcohol syndrome. Requesting approval of amend Amendment C-1 to the 21-22 contract with CHAPS, the provider has been approved to purchase two bed bug heater packages. Um, and you can see the attached section from the approved retained revenue plan for more detail. The cost is $23,400 max with a cost to the county of $1,249.30. Will that just be used uh, at uh, CHAPS or will they no, it's for other agencies too. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, requesting approval of the Amendment C-1 to the 21-22 contract with the Titusville Area Senior Citizens Corporation. The provider has been approved to purchase a sign for outside of their building. This is also um, approved in the retained revenue plan. The cost is $500 maximum with the cost to the county of $26.69. Requesting approval for retained revenue plan contract with St. James Haven. The provider has been approved to purchase supplies for their shelter, which will include laundry necessities, food and clothing gift cards, hygiene items, linens, a freezer, and the cost of pest control services for one year. Uh, the maximum is $30,000 with a cost to the county of $1,601.67. Requesting approval for the retained revenue plan contract with Women's Services. The provider has been approved to purchase supplies for their shelter, which will include security cameras, a freezer, linens, furniture and appliances, prepaid phones, hygiene items, and a vehicle to assist with transportation needs. Maximum is $40,000, cost to the county $2,135.55. And finally, requesting approval for retained revenue plan contract with the YWCA Titusville. The provider has been approved to purchase supplies for their shelter, which will include furniture, carpet cleaners, and replacing carpeting, kitchen essentials, hygiene items, lawn care necessities, and emergency supplies. The max is $15,100, cost to the county $806.17. Any questions for Sue? Thank you. Thank you. Finance. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. For your approval, I have invoices totaling $47,184.85. The first is to Community Health Services. It's the March 2021-2022 MATP trip reimbursement. Invoice number 150 in the amount of $42,745. This comes from the Transportation Block Grant. And the second is to Clayton's Auto Specialties, LLC. It's for the 2007 Chevrolet Station Wagon. Um, and it was for $4,439.85. Comes from the uh, Commissioner's Vehicle Maintenance Line Item. Okay, any questions for Stephanie? All right, and the uh, Carp County Fair and Commissioner Wiederspin will be handling that. Yeah, the first one up is the both these contracts, both A and B, were approved by the Fair Board at their meeting last Thursday. So uh, according to MOU, it comes before us now. The first one is with Amp Electric. Uh, the rates are uh, $48 per hour uh, for any work done through July. Then during Fair Week, it's uh, $58 an hour, which includes four hours of overtime. And then there is a bucket truck available uh, when it's being used, 50 bucks an, uh, an hour. But the, if the truck sits there all week during the fair and they don't need it, there'll be no charge. So, uh, this was the only contract that they were proposed that they were given for electrical work. And then the next one is for security with Valentis. And uh, this would uh, start security on Wednesday the 17th and run through 
August 27th, the last day of the fair in the uh, late evening, and uh, the total was uh, 52,900 and some change, a little less than last year's, but uh, the proposal rate, uh, they, they did receive two, and this is the one that the fair board voted for. Okay, any questions for Francis? Mm -hmm. Just want to thank the fair board for doing a bid process and multiple contracts, and uh, it's nice to see that uh, process work out. So. And the commissioner's office. Okay. Uh, upcoming events, the uh, full session will be April 27th, followed by a work session on May 4th. Just of note, it's a little bit ahead of us, a few weeks ahead, but we are changing the work session on May 19th. It'll be, a t it'll be 18th to a 19th, I'm sorry, it'll be a Thursday due to the election. It just reminded us that that was important not to be out late and come in the next day early. That's right, this is for this old man. <laughs> Don't forget Zach back there. Uh, oh, Zach, I'm sorry. Hop back in there, sir. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, sure, sir. I circled his name, but... Good morning, Commissioner. My morning, apologies. No, no problem. Uh, so the first item, we're seeking approval for paying an invoice to Fred L. Burns. Um, this is the contractor who's working on the Beaver Township Community Development Block Grant Project. Um, their first invoice is for $19,072.55. It's paid for out of the county's 2019 CDBG program. Uh, and then the second item, we're asking for approval to execute a cooperation agreement with Crawford County and Sparta Township uh, for the administration of their ARPA funds. Any questions for Zach? On the workout at Beaver, somebody's going out there and mm -hmm. watch the progress or yeah or I've been out to the site once great. already um, the, the and the engineer has been out to the site as well um, they are on schedule to be completed before the uh, primary election oh excellent great. wonderful great. Great. thanks Zachary yep no problem. Thank you right. so uh, any public comment Commissioner comments Commissioner saw I actually don't have anything today Commissioner Wiederspan I'm gonna pass as well Wow. The only thing I would say is uh, we, we've had a challenge at the, at the uh, care center getting our uh, CNAs who take taken training, uh, certified nurses aid training. They're called TNAs. Currently, they have to have their certification done, uh, uh, their training done in, in several, six weeks, I believe it is. We've had a hard time getting testing. And I want to thank uh, Representative Roy, uh, Senator Brooks, and Michael Frito from the governor's office. They have made headway today. In fact, a meeting this week has... Uh, guaranteed us we'll have local training within uh, the next two to three weeks. So the, we did have some employees who drove as far as Philadelphia to become trained to CNAs on their own because they didn't want to, they didn't want to forget and uh, lose the retention of that knowledge. So we do appreciate all three of those folks for helping us out in that, in that situation. Uh, if nothing else, we will see you next week. Thank you.